What's going on YouTube? Man, back at it again. Hey, it's gonna be my new intro right here. So y'all do me a favor, like that video, share that video, subscribe to the channel. Hey man, you already know the vibes. Make sure you subscribe, check out the video. Hope you like it. What's going on YouTube, man? Hey, we finna start something a little different, man. We finna react to something. Top six disturbing home invasions. You feel me? We finna get into it, man. Hope y'all ready for this. I don't smoke three fives in the backwood. I'm not from that era, so yeah, you know, not wasting my shit for y'all. So before we even get into that, all right, let's get to it though. Let's get to it, man. In September of 2017. The owners of a home near Las Vegas would begin to notice suspicious charges to their credit cards. Upon further inspection, they would confirm that they 100% did not make these purchases. Now, the couple did lose a purse containing multiple cards a few days prior, but they just assumed they misplaced it somewhere around the house. Obviously, now seeing recent activity on the cards, they realized this was not the case. At some point, the purse had to have been stolen. They begin reviewing home security camera footage to pinpoint when exactly they left the house with the purse and unknowingly didn't come back with it. But, oddly, they would find that at no point did they return home without the purse. This would cause them to take a deeper look at the footage, practically analyzing everything hour by hour. And, after a while, this was the footage they were met with. Look, cat ain't doing shit. Get a dog. Look, cat like, what you got? Cat right there ain't make a Two damn men sound. Into the house by climbing a back wall to get into the backyard, and from there simply walked through the back door to the house, which was unknowingly left unlocked by the homeowners. There you go, right there. White people, I know they white. Just because you live in a good neighborhood does not mean people won't run up in your shit. Alright, that does not mean that at all. If anything, people going to come to the nice neighborhoods before they go to the dirty neighborhoods. They ain't going to the projects to break in no house. Because it's the projects. Niggas broke. <laughs> Fuck. They coming to your shit. So you think because you stay in that big house with the gated community, whatever, you can leave your door unlocked? Cap. Alright. Cap. They would then silently steal multiple valuables, one of which was the purse. Most disturbing, though, is the fact that not only were the homeowners in the house while this took place, in the house. they were sleeping on their living room couch only a few feet away. They ass on the Just couch. the way the two men were walking around the kitchen, it's clear they were aware of this. With the homeowners have woken up during this, and it's possible things could have ended a lot worse than just a few stolen items. The two responsible for the burglary have yet to be identified by police. Crazy. Lock your doors, people. Lock your doors. They were an everyday average family. However, in July of 2017, the couple would start to hear strange noises coming from their attic during the night, like enough to wake them up. At first, they would ignore it. But over the next couple of nights, in addition to the noises, they would now also see a light shining in through a pipe. This would push Jerome to call the police. He believed his neighbor, who he shared an adjoining wall with, was responsible. But when police went over to question his neighbor, he would deny everything. And because Jerome didn't have any proof, police couldn't really do anything. But still believing his neighbor was responsible, Jerome would manually set up a camera in his attic to get proof. Or, at the very least, to see what was actually happening. That night, Jerome and his wife would not wake up to any noises. Gotta get some cameras, Jerome man. decided to review the footage anyway. And this is the site he was met with. Definitely get your cameras. Look, creep. Creep. Suspicions were correct. Niggas be creeps. His neighbor, Robert Avrilla, could be seen crawling around the attic with a power drill. Seeing this, Jerome would once again call the police. Now that he had video evidence to show them, his neighbor Robert would promptly be arrested. It was later discovered that Robert had made a removable wall to gain access to their attic. 
and under the attic, multiple holes were found drilled into the shared brick wall between the two houses. This evidence, along with the disturbing footage itself, would ultimately get Robert Grillo in charge of stalking and trespassing. I mean, why you wanna? I mean, I guess that means he ain't got no why. He can't have no wife. You trying to go look at your next door neighbors naked and shit. Gotta try Kachama. Ah, boy, that's some Kachama's weirdos out here, dog. Him. Be careful, y'all. There's a lot of weirdos out here. I'm telling you, a lot of creeps, pedos, a lot of petties. On a day in October of 2021, a mother named Keith Winchester and her two-year-old son were home alone. They started out like usual to all the ladies that be home alone with, and you got a kid and you a single mom get you a gun if you scared of a gun or you think your kid gonna get you something a bat get you some mace something to protect yourself please ladies please well, but later on this would change she would begin to hear banging on her front door followed by a male voice yelling for help Naturally, she would go up to her front door to see who it was, but she didn't recognize the man, so she decided to ignore it. Over time, the banging and yelling would only grow louder. It got to the point where it was clear the man was no longer simply trying to get the homeowner's attention. Rather, he was genuinely trying to break into the house. In response, the mother would grab her two-year-old son and barricade themselves in an upstairs bathroom. Horrifyingly, while they were hiding, they would begin to hear actual glass shattering man had broken into the house all of which was captured by one of the home security cameras my first thought the man breaking into a door most houses most have two doors they got a front door and a back door a front door and a side door you run in the your first thought is to run in the bathroom which is cool you know but I hope she thought to take her phone with her. I just don't get why they didn't run out the other door. Maybe they didn't have one though. I could be could be wrong, y'all. Could be wrong. Please don't fuck with that girl and them kids. That's why y'all ladies get a gun. This is why. This is why. That's why I say get a gun. The police cannot help you. By the time the police get there, the crime is always committed. The police just trying to figure out who did it. The police just trying to get you to the hospital. You need something that you can protect yourself right then and there. Ain't no time for waiting for the police, y'all. The police can't save you. You could be in West Bumblefuck. Nigga breaking in your shit. You in the country. What the hell? The, like the, Sometimes the police be, man, come on. Yeah. You get you a gun. Fuck that. Get you a gun. Stop being scared. Put it somewhere high. Lock it up where your kids can't get it. Get you a gun. During that time, however, the intruder was unable to locate where the mother and her two-year-old son were hiding. When the police finally did arrive, the man would be arrested hospitalized for cuts he received while climbing through the window. It's still unclear why the man did it. He had no connections with any of the homeowners. Police believe this was the result of him being under the influence of something. But what yeah, exactly he, is never he high. clear. It's also he high he would have done had he actually found the mother and her two-year-old son. I'd be waiting for him to get in there. Free body! Free body! lived in a small New York apartment. I was scared for my life. I shot him in his face. His fridge and pantry that he knew for a fact he himself was not eating. After this went on for a while, he finally confronted his girlfriend about it. But oddly, she would deny eating any of his food. Not believing her, Joe decided to set up a camera overnight so that he could catch her in the act and confront her with the evidence. However, 
Oh, I seen this next morning and reviewed the footage. This and he met with something pretty horrifying. Living in the crib. Fast forward a little bit, y'all. Look at this bitch on the. Look at this bitch. <laughs> Imagine like. A woman who was not Joe's girlfriend can be seen climbing down from what Joe claims is a storage area in his apartment that has no connection to any outside ventilation or anything of the like. She would then walk over to the fridge and pantry and begin eating different foods, drinking milk, etc. That's when Joe would actually come out of his bedroom, forcing the woman to quickly find a hiding spot. I was just gonna say, Straight imagine him coming out. You can't jump up there. Before retreating back into the storage area. Bruh, and he, he, uh, what's crazy is, bro, a whole person is in your house right now. Just ran through all that shit. Crazy. Imagine looking back at that Joe shit. The footage the next morning. He immediately called the police. When the police arrived, they would take the woman out of the storage area and arrest her. It's unknown how she got in the apartment, but because he's on the top floor of his apartment building, Joe believed she could have gotten in through a fire escape, which was located on the ceiling. Police would guess that the woman had been living in the storage area for a couple of weeks. That's plans to eventually rob Joe. But whether or not these were actually her motives, would crazy dog. Made me want to go check my closets. I'm gonna go check my closets real quick. You feel me? I'm gonna go check my shit. Shout out to Chilling Scares, man. Reacting to your video, big dog. Y'all go follow him if you wanna not listen to me talk. In 2016, a couple of homeowners in us. You know, I be seeing on. Um, some of the other YouTubers, it's like, damn, they always pausing and talking. But I think you got to. Like, I think you can't just let it go. Like, I think you got to pause it and give some commentary or something like that. So, we just, just in case, we're going to pause it. Even though I ain't nowhere near at the level where people even watching my shit to give a fuck. But I don't get it because at the end of the day, you giving them exposure anyway. So, all right. Fuck that talking. Because I'd be like, nigga, shut up. Play the video. Australia would notice a strange man on their home security cameras walking around their property. At first, it was assumed it was someone they knew stopping by. But and I want y'all to notice, I've only seen one black person breaking into these houses. It was quickly discarded when the man began to crouch down and creep around the property. As if he knew he wasn't supposed to be and there. And B&E's is a specialty point, of some. hiding behind a parked truck so that a passing car wouldn't be able to spot him. I like, it's being, I like how they're being very diverse in their crime. <laughs> I'm glad they didn't just show a whole bunch of niggas. This would be a shocking discovery for the homeowners. And it made them question whether this was the first time the man had creeped around their property. In fact, the homeowners would actually go back and check previous footage to see if they could find any Look other Look at your dumb ass on can you on camera, so boy. Would find another. It happened a few days prior. This time, the man was looking in through a back door of the house with a flashlight. It might be hard for y'all to see. I'm just now noticing that. I got this damn light on. What 
exactly this man is doing or what he had planned is unknown. The homeowners would notify the police about the situation, but they couldn't identify the man, so there wasn't really much they could do. At least according to what's been documented, the man would not be seen on the property again. And I want to say, this is why they don't give everybody money in the world. <clears throat> if everybody was rich, I feel like crime would just stop. What would you do? Why, what reason would you have to take anybody's shit if you had if everybody had money? This footage was taken in New Jersey. A mother and her two daughters were home alone at night. The home they lived in was two stories. The three of them were all upstairs. That's when the mother would begin to hear strange noises coming from downstairs. No one was supposed to be down there. So, a little concerned, the mother would check the home security cameras on her phone. This is the site she was met with. A man who she'd never seen before could quite clearly be seen walking around the first floor of her house. Right when she saw this, she would suddenly barricade herself and her two daughters in an upstairs bathroom. Then, she would call the police. However, the police would take a while to respond, leaving her and her two daughters to basically just sit there watching this man through the- In case y'all didn't hear him, she was upstairs, she saw this. Called the police. Police took forever to respond, leaving their ass up there. Don't put your life in the hands of the police. The house is Unless they the there with spray, you. you wouldn't come upstairs. I pray. I be wishing somebody come in my house, man. Please. You better not let me hear you or see. The man would not end up going upstairs. In fact, when the police finally did arrive, the man was gone. Though his intents were clear, he had left with the multiple valuables. At one point in the video, you can even see him carrying the homeowner's purse. But as far as if he had gone upstairs and found the homeowners, there's no way to tell what he would have done. Had this happened, and things could have easily gone a lot worse. Police aren't sure if the man was armed. Ultimately, they would be unsuccessful in identifying him. All right, that's it, y'all. Hold on one second. 